Now in beauty, we are joined by Beauty EQ's editor Trudy Brewer, who is here to teach us all about charcoal. That's the latest beauty ingredient, isn't it? It is. It's blowing up on Instagram. Everyone seems everyone's, to love yeah, it. Everyone's loving it. Um, it seems like a bit of an odd combination. So why is it a beauty thing? Well, how long has it been a beauty thing for? Well, it's interesting. It's been around for centuries, um, and it's been used for health benefits. In fact, it is used in emergency rooms with um, for patients who've had too much alcohol or too drug overdose. What it does in the body, it acts as an antidote. So it actually pulls any toxins, organic toxins, towards itself so it stops that getting into your bloodstream mm -hmm. and on the skin it acts like a magnet so any dirt or grime or anything like that's on your skin it'll just pull it out so it's I mean it has been used for a long time and I guess its benefits are that now um, thanks to research we can actually use it in beauty products the activated pure charcoal and beauty products to actually help cleanse the skin well, there's obviously different kinds of charcoal then there are different kinds don't just of get a lump of coal no that's right on your face. no or eat it um, the thing is that it is purified um, and it, the activated charcoal is used in beauty and it's quite potent, it is a carbon so it's quite potent but it's mixed with other things to create this beautiful um, um, magnet that helps cleanse and detoxify your skin. So that's how it works, a magnet on your skin? That's how it works, it's really simple. So if you start using things with charcoal on them, what kind of results can you expect to see? I think clarity is probably the best, uh, the, the most um, obvious change in your skin. I mean a lot of people with oily skin find it great because it actually helps unplug the clog, you know, clogged pores mm. and soak up the excess oil. But it's also very brightening as well, so it can be used and mixed with other ingredients as an anti-aging um, product. It helps to brighten a dull complexion, shift any sort of um, dry, flaky skin on the skin uh, on the surface of the skin, which does make your complexion look dry. Once you put makeup onto dry skin like that, you actually you look even sort of more dull, and your mm. complexion doesn't look bright. So it, it's it can be used for a multitude of things, and even in your hair as well. You see, I've never heard in your hair. I've seen yeah. people use it as toothpaste. Yeah, great toothpaste. I wouldn't use it every day. That's one piece of advice I would give. But a brilliant toothpaste. I mean, when you're using it, you think, oh, my teeth are going to be permanently mm. black. But it does help to pull out any toxins and bacteria in the teeth, as well as shift stains like coffee and red wine, That's which are hard, hard to shift. Very hard to shift. So you brought a few things in for us to have a I look have. at. Um, fascinating. I want to start with this one because what is it? That is a makeup sponge for cleansing, which is such a cool idea. Like ten dollar sponge from QVS. Mm -hmm. um, it's in a makeup. Uh, it's a sponge which is infused with charcoal, and it's great for cleansing. So you would use your cleanser, and instead of taking your cleanser off with a, with a face cloth, you would take it off with that towel. Um, so it stops the need to double cleanse if you're wearing very heavy makeup. It's a great way of pulling that off your skin and pulling out all the impurities with it. Nice, give a little bit of an exfoliate too. Yeah, it is. It does exfoliate slightly. What about this little one? These are cute. Freeman have been doing some amazing things lately. Little um, beauty infusions, little masks. $5. So if you're not sure if you want to try charcoal or not, a $5 mask is a great way to start. Mm. Um, that's just a, a mask um, mixed with some um, essential oils, ginger, um, and it helps just brighten the skin and pull out any impurities. You just put that on like a mask and rinse it off. So where do you get those from? Pharmacy. Oh, yeah. wow. What's this one? Well, so I, this nice. is the shampoo brand that I was talking about, Husk, um, charcoal with citrus oils. Now this is great for hair that has build up of product. We all know that mm -hmm. we go through a week, particularly in your job, where you're always having hairspray put in your hair. have got a lot of products in here. Yeah. And mousses and all those things that often shampoos don't shift them. And your hair starts to get dull, mm. especially blonde hair. It can really soak up that product. So once a week or twice a week using the charcoal husk sh shampoo and conditioner not and a, the protein um, little treatment in the sachet. But not an everyday thing. I wouldn't use it every day. You probably don't need to. You can, but you probably don't need to. Very oily hair. Mm -hmm. Brilliant for every day. Um, a couple of different masks. Um, and that's just another option for Freeman, which is, I bought that in because I thought it was interesting. It's got black sugar with it as well um, and it looks amazing on your skin oh, look at that. Um, and the black sugar is really nourishing acts as, a, as an exfoliant and it nourishes as well oh and it sounds really good and and it's a little bit gritty and that one's good for anyone with um, maybe slightly bumpy skin or irregular sort of like pigmentation to help shift that awesome um, yeah and then there's a dermalogica one there. they've just um, uh, released a beautiful mask with some Japanese white charcoal in it so sounds great hey Trudy yeah, thank you so the much options are many and varied. There are, thank you so much and thank you for bringing these things in for us to have a look Pleasure. at. Now for more of Trudy's top beauty tips you can head to her website beautyeq.co.nz